morning everyone my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel good morning it is wednesday isn't it and what's wednesday going to bring the middle of the week i wonder well i'm in my flat by myself at the moment and um it's another dull dreary day with low visibility which means hardly any sunlight alexa good morning good morning and a happy birthday to music superstar justin timberlake i can't stop the feeling that there's no way he's over 40. i feel old and i was only born in 2014. oh wow she was only born in 2014 she's 10 years old you're lucky alexa alexa how old is Justin Timberlake? Good morning, Crystal. Justin Timberlake is 43 years old. Very best sing happy birthday to Justin Timberlake. I remember mm. him. I re who remembers Justin Timberlake teaming up with Madonna back in the day when they only had four minutes left in that song? You've only got four minutes. Four minutes. Alexa. Can you sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yes, I remember Justin Timberlake, he wanted to bring sexy back, didn't he? Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 8.54 a.m. <coughs> Alexa, <coughs> what's the date today? <coughs> it's Wednesday, the 31st of January. Alexa, what's the weather like in Rochester? In Rochester, England, it's 7 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for overcast weather, with a high of 11 degrees and a low of 4 degrees. And Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American singer, record producer, and actor Justin Timberlake, actress, singer-songwriter Minnie Driver, American actor Jonathan Banks, Russian senior official and statesman Sergei Ivanov, and English musician John Lydon. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Why did the tomato blush? He saw the salad dressing. Right guys, so people with depression and the, uh, the condition sad, like myself, do not like this weather because it's there's low visibility, it's miserable because you can't see outside, you know, there's no sunshine at all, there's hardly any light and it, you know, it just affects your, your well-being. So I try and cheer myself up throughout the day by singing or doing something like exercising or something uh, just to stop feeling that, that way. So it is Wednesday. Wednesday. I've need to put the kettle on for my coffee. Um, so basically, I don't have pets. For goodness sake. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're playing, you're playing. I know, I know, no, 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 what's that all about? You see, the sofa becomes a stage for the pets. Whenever I try to do a video, I've been doing a couple of videos in the corridor because I just I just can't sit down or anything without a pet jumping on me or something. It's 
boy, sit down, sit down, sit down. So, oh. right, where was we? So Wednesday. I don't know what we're going to do today. We just take it as it comes, like I do every day. Uh, last night I took Max out for a walk in the evening. Um, at night I find it the worst walk of the day because you can't see who's walking in the dark which reminds me I need to get um, a new pair of glasses um, every time I make an appointment to go and get a new pair of glasses or go to have the rest of my teeth treatment for my teeth I get one of these nasty headaches and I can't go so we'll just see what happens take it as it comes um, so yeah, I went out for a walk, it wasn't too bad. There was people walking along the path and I've got to be careful not to go into the road because I get, could get run over by a van. Uh, they speed around here. Um, so I just dodged people, basically. Um, normally when I go out, it's, it's relatively quiet, but just lately there's been a lot of people up and down the path and... and um, you know, I don't want to see in with anybody. I just want to take my dog for a walk and come home. I mean, the last time I bet, met this bloke walking a dog, I've told you what happened. I just want to keep myself to myself now. and only speak to people that I know and that know they're okay. Um, yeah, it was just quiet last night. Last night was quiet. Um, I had a couple of messages on Flirt Finder referring to my breasts and that was about it. Then I decided to watch Poltergeist on DVD. The DVD I bought from the Hospices of Hope in um, Rochester High Street. Now that was a one-off. I don't go down the high street every day. Uh, today I'm not doing that. That was purely to get to take my library books back. They'd been due back for about four months and I kept renewing them because you can renew library books um, online. So I renewed them online. All you need to do is enter, enter your library card and your password and I can renew my books. Um, so I thought, well, we better take them back. I'd renewed them four times. So we took them back yesterday. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I went out first thing in the morning, so it was relatively quiet. People were just coming back from taking their kids to school, so it wasn't too bad at all. The charity shop I had a, one person in it before I went in there. Got my bits, and I came out of there. And I didn't want to spend a load of money because I like to keep some back in case there's emergency. So I um, I came back home early. Bit of a kerfuffle with the parcel. The Temu parcel was delivered to, to the, I think it's a block of flats, not next door to me, but the one after. Very nice chap, rang the buzzer, said that I've got three parcels that have come to the wrong address and he left them in the foyer, went downstairs, there was one parcel for me and two for Nicola. Um, so fair enough, I went downstairs, I got my parcel, very pleased with it, I was too, because Temu, it's never, it's never at their end, they're, they're, they're a great company and I'm, I'm, I've done reviews of Ten years good, so I know they're okay. I knew it had to be the fault of the post, and um, if the Royal Mail had delivered the parcel to the wrong right block of flats, then that shit wouldn't have happened, would it? He was a dark-haired man, so he had black hair <coughs> and bald on top. And he brought his daughter round because I saw them in the buzzer. He had a, 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 a girl with him. So it was a, a short rotund man with, with glasses, I believe, and a 
you know when you when someone's hair recedes you've got a bald patch on the top and he had black hair all around there all around the bald patch was receding black hair not as bad as him upstairs he's not receded that bad yet the guy upstairs has got a little bald patch on top and he's going grey as well I think we all are after the three years of living in here <laughs> Um, <coughs> Max, don't sit still. There's a good boy. So what else was I saying? Um, yeah, this morning, um, I I unfortunately usually miss the guy upstairs thumping around the ceiling because I'm fast asleep. Last night I woke up. I've got obviously got pets and um, the kitten was jumping about so I got up to see what the kitten was doing and I could hear the guy upstairs with his thunder boots on the ceiling and he kept coughing he's got COPD and he smokes roll-ups I don't smoke cigarettes I don't smoke roll-ups I don't smoke at all so he's coughing his guts up for about Five or ten minutes before he leaves the flats, coughing. <coughs> and then he's clonking on the ceiling and then he eventually leaves. So for about a, an hour on and off, because I, I woke up about five, he's clonking on the ceiling, he's coughing, then he's clonking on the ceiling and he's coughing and he finally leaves. <clears throat> after about half an hour's worth of on and off coughing that's what they were doing in the library yesterday coughing like him coughing I don't smoke my father Derek used to smoke he used to smoke golden Virginia pouches golden Virginia and belief was another one and then he would get these obscure patches of tobacco off the internet Samson was another one that dad smoked Samson tobacco because it's cheap isn't it than buying a box of cigarettes what are they about 15 quid a box now I think the cigarettes are about 15 pounds a box it's cheaper to buy roll-up tobacco with your little Rizzlers than it is to buy cigarettes, but they still do the same harm to the body. There's no difference. In fact, I think people tend to smoke more roll-ups than they would do a, a box of cigarettes. I can't tolerate the smoking. Can't tolerate it. It just gives me a headache. It makes me feel sick. I don't know why people do it, but obviously they do it because it calms. I think it calms their nerves down. Women used to think smoking made them thinner, but I, it, well, it's because you're not eating. You just got a, a fag in your hand, haven't you? <coughs> And my dad smoked when I was a kid. He used to smoke profusely, one after the other, one after the other, all over me and my mum. My mum's got terrible breathing difficulties. My dad just smoked about 60 roll-ups a day. You know, it, it killed him in the end, didn't it? The smoking and the drinking, it gave him a heart attack and lung disease. We aren't supposed to put that shit into our bodies, but there you go. I mean, I can't say anything because I like it. I like, you know, sweets, crisps. I mean, what is life like when you've got nothing that you enjoy at all? It's boring and it's not worth it, is it? So you want something occasionally. I wouldn't say every single day, my dad. Oh, stained fingers. Smoking stains your fingers, so you'll have lovely, nice, clean.
clean hands and a smoke, a heavy smoker's hands are orange. My dad, I just remember my dad when he used to tell me off, he used to have a nicotine stained middle finger, you know, where he held his cigarette. So all his cigarette fingers were orange. The breath, you can smell a smoker, you can smell a drinker. So when that uh, Charlie came up to me, they, they know I don't like smoking. The first thing he, do, thing he did was light up a cigarette because it makes me feel ill. It affects my sinuses. So he lit up a cigarette and he starts blowing the smoke. That Charlie that came up to me on the field. Um, affects my sinuses, makes me feel lightheaded, dizzy. So the first thing he did was light a cigarette, smoke it, and come over towards me smoking. And, uh, you know, uh, my dad also used to drink hard liquor, brandy, whiskey, smoke, drink, and um, that's it. Um... So I've just haven't got my parents' habits. No. As a child I thought right, you know I just never did anything like that. I mean I obviously when I was a kid and my dad left alcohol about I would try to drink. When I was a kid they used to leave the Christmas bottles open so I go around sipping the, the drink. My dad gave me drinks of alcohol when I was a kid. We had creme de menthe, we, we had, you know, I just remember drinking some of the bottles of drink. I used to be left alone a lot as well, so I, I was when my dad was at work, because my mum was always asleep on the sofa. But I've always been, I've grown up different. You would think because I've had those things done to me that I would be the same. And I'm completely not, completely not. Um, I've been a, solid, a solitary person, a person that... I mean, I've, I've had to guard myself, guard myself from it. That's the phone going off. In the middle of my video. It's alright, whoever it is, I'll get back to them. There's no hurry, I'm going to make myself a lovely cup of coffee, I want to relax. I don't want to argue with anyone. I don't want to get cross. I just want my life. I just want to carry on in my life in peace and tranquility. If anyone's got a problem with me, they can talk to me. I don't want to shout at them. I, you know. I, you know, I, it, I don't see the point of it. I don't want to be controlled. I, I do what I want to do. I don't do what other people tell me to do. I'm not a muppet or a puppet. I do as I wish. When I want to do something, when I'm ready, and I'm going to go at my own pace, and I'm not being pushed or shoved or coerced into doing something I don't want to do, I'm not an angry, nasty person, and I'm not, I, I'm not mad. What I'm doing is telling the truth, right? So every so we've got him coughing this morning. Remember the, the devil and all that. The devil coughs. And my dad was called the devil. So we've got him coughing upstairs. Coughing his guts up this morning. I don't know what I'm doing today. But I'm not being controlled by, by, by this crap anymore. You either write me out the scripts or you and find someone else to replace me or you shut this crap down and get on with your lives because i'm not participating in any devil worship in any cruelty 
or any abuse of any kind and I shall walk out right I'm a human being I don't want to be shouted at and treated like some kind of wild animal I'm a human being and I will walk out but I, I mean I will get a taxi I won't walk out I shall get a taxi I'm not in the mood for people's shenanigans. Not today, I'm not. See you later.